I'm reviewing the Amcrest bullet camera here. It is power over internet. And so I'm going to first go over how I got this thing up and running because. So here we have our ports, but it's not going to provide anything but the, but the ethernet. It's not going to provide the power. So I plugged an ethernet cable into one of the ports here. This uh, PoE injector here. You can see here the cable from the ethernet here is now connected also into the injector and the injector is plugged into the wall. From there on the other side of the injector, okay from the other side of the injector I have another ethernet cable. This one is a flat one. It doesn't matter. They make them flat now too. So I have another ethernet cable coming out you can see the flat cable goes into the splitter here and it is set to 12 volts because that's what the camera says it should be at and then from there we have this little cable here going into the camera and then this other cable that came with the splitter is set to the power of the camera so now we are powering the camera that's what it took to get the camera up and running. So now the camera is working and we are just testing out the quality of the images right now because of the fact that to get it where we want it, which is in a very blind area of the house, we are going to have to do some drilling and holes and that's going, that's going to take a little bit of work. So for right now we are simply testing the quality and um, in a week or two we'll start drilling some holes to put it exactly where we want it so we can see where there are no windows and where we have to walk out of the house to be able to investigate noises. This will solve that problem really well. The next step was downloading the app. Pretty easy. We all know how to do it. You go into the App Store or uh, in Android uh, Play and you just put in the Amcrest View Light. Download that for free. Once it's downloaded, you've got your app here. Once you get the app on there, it's going to ask you to scan the barcode. The barcode is right here on the camera. So this is particular to this camera, and that's what's going to keep you connected. It's really cool. So And the, and the scanner is built into the app, so you don't have to have a different QR scanner. It's built into the app. So you scan this, and then fill out the information. Uh, the very first time you put in the password, don't put your own. Put in the one it tells you to, which is admin. And from there, you can change it to your own personal password. All right, here's the fun part. This is live screening, live feed from the camera right now. It is a beautiful picture. And uh, I love that I can enlarge things right here on the phone. That's pretty cool. And if we wanted to, we can turn the phone this way and have an even larger picture. And we can still enlarge it with our fingers. So that's pretty cool. Hey, Eric. Yeah. Go out the back way and go over, go over by the swing and just wave to me. Okay. Here's my husband walking in the backyard. going around the pool, going up to the swing. <laughs> I would like to see him a little better. <laughs> now keep in mind what you are seeing right now is through a window that has not been washed in five years and a window screen. So you're this picture's got to be a lot more clear. In fact, maybe I should do that, show an indoor picture so you can see a better clear view. Oh look, now we only have dirty window to contend with. No screen. Just dirty window. That's wonderful. Now, 
let's get a better understanding of all the cool features here on the app. I'm gonna wake this up and here we have I don't know what what is that? What does that do? Oh I don't know. I just like to push buttons, you'll learn that. Oh okay so if I had the camera hanging upside down from Naive I would do that to uh, correct the vision. Oh, very interesting. See what pushing buttons does? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Okay, so let's see what other buttons we have. We have recording. Oh, that's good. We should do that, definitely. And then we have... What's... Build to enable... Two-way audio? Well, yeah, because I'm not set up for two-way audio. How interesting. I didn't know I had an option. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like that off. Mm. And, of course, you can set up multiple cameras and use this app to see more and more and more. Um, it, it, I, it even showed 16 at one point. Yeah. So, clearly I don't want that, so I am just going to double-clip here. So I had gone ahead and pushed record on one of the videos I had made and now I want to go into my saved file where it is and here's two of them that I did. Um, I was really interested to know that it had Dropbox, which is something I use all the time, to, to send them to. to there. Now here's where you can say you want to send it, save it to any one of these options here. So that's cool. SkyDrive is the new OneDrive. A really fun app. Um, the thing is, every time I tried to upload to Dropbox, it said it was failing, and I don't know why. So then I tried the tab here. Firefox has this new thing where you can have your Firefox the same on all of your computers and your phone, even on iPhone. So I can have all the same saved pages, all the same everything. So here it says send a tab to my Firefox on my laptop. Well, that's great because then I could save it from there. I'm, I'm just saying these are cool features that it has. It could switch over from so many channels. Uh, you can save it in interesting ways. I'm still discovering it. There's a long way to go, but I like the app a lot. There we go. Here is the night view. And I am able to pick up things that are close. Oh, wait, no, it gets better. Okay, I'm gonna move my phone so that you can see what it looks like without the camera. That's how dark this room is. So, yes. It does, in fact, it takes a moment to adjust, though. It takes a reading of the room and adjusts, and because if I move the camera too quickly, it'll go dark for a minute as it adjusts to uh, the darkness and creating the light. Get that. Okay, once again, moving my phone out of the way so you can see what the room really looks like. There you go. So I'm going to say that the night vision works very well. Cool.